Hey everyone, my name is Kevin. I used to be a test engineer for about a decade. Today I'm going to show you a fully automated um, test using LabVIEW plus Sweep, which is LabVIEW, FlexAuger, and Diadem. Here I got my simulator. We have a fan as the fan motor and my CDAC set up for measurement and control. So I'm going to start by launching this LabVIEW built executable. This is a very simple UI for my reliability lab. Uh, so let's enter some metadata here that will be on our TDMS. Let's run the hysteresis test and uh, just do batch number of NI 2025. So as you can see, I press start. What this does is LabVIEW automatically grabs the FlexLogger project for a hysteresis test. So let's go ahead and open up FlexLogger and see. You can see that it loaded in all my um, settings here. And let's look at the screen. So for hysteresis, what I want to know is what's the voltage input? What's the responding RPM? And we're going to step up and then step back down. And this is fully automated. So you could hit start like I just did and go to lunch. If it's a longer test, come back the next day. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to be done for you. So while this is running, I'll tell you the next steps that it's going to happen. Once this test finish, it's going to send that TDMS file over to Diadem, where it's going to run a script that I built to do the analysis for a hysteresis test. And once it's done that, it will push it to a report that is also a template that I created under about five minutes. Grab charts, tables, throw it up, little titles, and I can run this test over and over again, and it's going to run the same script, same analysis, and the same report generation, just updating the new data. So, you can see that it is almost done with the test. I'll wait for that stop, and it stopped. Let's open up that file. All right, so test is done. Up, oh, and there we go. All right, so here's our report. You can see that it grabs some of the metadata that we had, the operator, the dot batch number. Um, you can even have this send yourself an email, um, put it in whatever directory you want. Um, it's your choice, but uh, you can see that the hysteresis test ramps up and down with our RPM. Here's RPM plotted up and down, just overlaid with each other. The um, difference between those up and down and then your uh, raw data here for RPM. If you're curious on how to make your own automated test using the LabVIEW plus suite, check out the playlist with Dara, Abitha, and I, where we show you how.